Medieval era! And we did get distracted with probably about 1,500 on faith purchasing great people, but no longer. No longer. Now, we are all about that beautiful, beautiful settler purchasing. Monumentality, again, we don't even check. Hercules has arrived. We've now got three bonus districts. Beautiful bonus districts. In fact, actually, Kazan, you can be the first. Oh, that's a plus five. Oh, yes. Right, off your pop. Imhotep says, Mahabadi Temple. This gives you two three apostles. The two diplomacy victory points are kind of useful if I was going for a diplomatic victory. To be honest, I don't know what sort of victory I'm going to be going for today. I don't think it's going to be diplomatic though. My gut is telling me culture because Russia just goes so well on that. But we shall see. Evangelize. Evangelize. First of all, faith is by far my most important resource. So we're going to go pilgrimage. And seeing as it's got pilgrimage, I'm maybe going to go iterant preachers. The 30% further away spreading. Religious colonization works well because it plonks it in your new cities. But what this means is that cities further back in your empire start spreading. So your religion spreads really quickly. So we're on seven cities. By the end of this era, I want to be on 20. That's my unofficial, unimportant goal. If I don't hit it, Nothing will happen, except from a deep-seated self sense of disappointment, but we can ignore that. There is a World Congress. I'm going to produce units faster. I'm just going to go to the bottom of the resources. It's diamonds. Vote down on diamonds. It's a pretty surefire way of winning that point. We'll see if it works this time. Yes. Oh no, duplicates went through this time. Interesting. Well, that's worked out well for Gaul. Amazing. Okay, great. Well, we'll definitely keep an eye out for that. Apadana. Finished. Two envoys in my capital and Etmananki is being built in my capital as well, which means I'll get another two envoys. Do I need all these envoys? Yes. Yes, of course I do. I like city-states. I always like playing with city-states. They're good fun. Kamasi for trade routes to city-states. Oh, that's good, especially because they're just next to me as well. Yes. That's a huge amount of extra culture. Mexico City. I love Mexico City. Extra range on industrial zones and entertainment complexes. That's amazing. Such an underused uh, city-state, that one. Okay, I've got access to the sea now. Brilliant. Settlers, to the coast. Oh no, this isn't the tile stealer, is it? Uh, I thought it was the tile stealer. No, it's just the duplicates one. Okay, well, we'll get another slot of diamonds, seeing as that is currently doing so well in the government. Congress has given me more power. I'll take it. Hercules, bam. Beautiful theater square, looks lovely. Apprenticeship, that's industrial zones. That's a nice thing. I don't mind me, I'm just whining on. Are these city-state trade routes everything that I wanted them to be? Yes, yes, they are. Oh, this is the one I want. This is the city-state that I want. 2% culture for every great person I've ever earned. I will be earning a lot of great people over the course of this game. A lot. So this plus five harbor is useless because my boats can't get out, but this plus two means my boats could get into this small lake. So the plus five harbor it is. Yes, Hercules, build it for me. Build it and they will come. Oh, I went above 100 culture, by the way. Turn 92. Just compare it to the Norway game we played recently. <laughs> It's a, it's a very different feel, this game, isn't it? Ah, Russia. Such a gentle ride in comparison. Etimananki in the capital. I actually have more marsh in my empire than you might think, including in my capital. And divine ride. Make Ursa a king. Do, 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 do. Autocratic legacy. Oh, that's a fun card, but it's utterly useless. <laughs> I wish it was better. I really do. Gothic architecture. And where's my builder card? Serfdom. Yes, we've got limes. Limes is okay. And conscription. Send a trade route over to Kagawana. I'll get a delicious industrial zone set up in my capital. And I'll use my envoys to take over this very expensive one. But this is 2% culture of every great person I've ever earned. I've already got quite a decent bonus, 18%. And that will just get higher as I, I mean, I'm going to get this admiral, which is good. I'm going to get this merchant, which is also good. Excellent. Campus district gives production as well. Oh, I wish I could get that one. That would have been good. Never mind. I love it. We've got one turn civics on so many things now. It's so good. To you, Moscow, I give the gift of harbor. We're just knocking my heroes off immediately for relic. Nah, he's, he's like my most powerful unit by far. He's keeping Russia safe. Uh, speaking of, another city. So you can see with all of my buffs improved at the moment, as I settle a city, 
It has plus four food, which is wonderful. Two from Surplus Logistics and then two from Gold Rush. Starts with a bonus population and another bunch of tiles that stack on top of Rush's normal tiles. So we have one, two, three tiles missing from a second ring and then we're already on the third ring, which is just crazy. And a bunch of extra production and faith and gold. Nazca has appeared. Well, there is actually desert right next to my land. That's not a bad... Th oh, and it's already on site. Okay, yeah, that, uh, we like that. Especially as wherever Leventa was. I struggle to remember where Leventa was. It's dead. It's totally dead. It got raised to the floor. Mm, don't think about it too hard, that one. Kabul. Again, a lovely city-state right on my border. How can I not trade with that? Come on. Ugh. Sometimes, sometimes the rules on trade routes. I mean, you'd think, you'd think it would easily be able to go through Novigrad, but no. Too far away. What you gonna do? Still don't have a single campus. Could be a problem. An educator would be the way to improve that. Plus three thought. How many great people have we got so far? I wonder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll be worth 9% boost on all stats, pretty much. I do like that. That is a cool idea. Might get cardinal though. Extra faith in cities, extra culture, extra amenities, being able to build holy sites faster. Something quite fun about that. Curator is also good. Theatre squares, world wonders, extra culture. Culture means more governors. It just depends whether or not culture or educator is the best one to go for first. I reckon educator. I reckon educator because rhetoric's really good. 5% bonus on culture inspirations and then free thought as well. And then grant stacking on top of Oracle. Yeah, okay, let's go educator. This is being a nice high population city. I'm going to go for Tula. And the two boosts we get from st opening this one, military engineering and military tactics. Hmm, I could have killed something with a spearman. I feel like that may have been a slight miss. Never mind. I'm actually going to pick up aesthetics here. Double theater square adjacency. We, I mean, we've got a lot of that. That's nice. Up to 200 culture before turn 100. Russia. Perfectly balanced in every way. Let's immediately get educated elite. 15% great people points in my cities. Lovely. My capital can actually pick up Kilwa, which I'm going to do. Wonder building has been my thing so far. I've still got 42 production in this city and a bunch of tiles that can still be improved. Might just change my government around a little bit in a second, but we're going to go reformed church, get faith discounting power. Oh yeah, that stacks of monumentality. Very nice. Here's a roomy. More books for old Ursa. Lovely stuff. That's what you want to see. But now we've got machinery. Do I try and pick up things like Alhambra? Forbidden City? No, Alhambra's already been built. Fine. I think I'd rather industrialize, to be honest with you. So instead, let's go military engineering and then we'll pick up mathematics and we'll work towards... Yeah, I'm just gonna go industrialization. Why not? Oh, I love when things stack together. Zanzibar. I get an envoy from the trade route. So I should take it. Beautiful. One more city. I think just opening with lava is the best idea. It really is. It's nice plus seven. It's such a good district. Theocracy. I could put Simultanium in. All of my shrines and temples would give me more faith. That is a huge one. But I'm going to stick with Builder Charges for now because these are low-key providing everything I need to in my empire. They're brilliant. I'm building a couple of harbors. So we're going to put Veterancy back in rather than Conscription. 12 gold per turn is good. Bit of extra production towards harbors though. That's, that's awesome. Could have put the wonder card in. Thinking about it, maybe that would have been a good move. That's a good hundred off the settler costs. I mean, the god warriors are going to give me more food. The thing is as well, is I would start picking up musician points. And musicians are really, really handy. But we are very early in the game for them. So I need to rush those. A free economic policy slot in the government would also be really handy actually thinking about it. Because that would be wonder production. I like these sort of games. We have competing aspects of brilliance and it's all good. You want it all. Just keeping Diplomatic League in has given me about seven or eight envoys so far. Look at all the twos. Just randomly wandering around the map, especially as they're picking up. Like the city-states are appearing as the barbarian camps are converting. It's wonderful. It's such a good card. People always ask me why I keep it in for so long. It's this. It's just the casual accumulation. It gets you to three envoys with everyone so quickly. Oh, hello. Hello, governor. What's happening here? Stop it. Stop attacking me. 
That's a commercial hub finished in Kazam though. Yes, get these buildings finished. I am saving up my gold. I've got a merchant on the way who's going to give me double my treasury. That's awesome. Enrico, let's get you in immediately. Yes, lovely. Research alliance with Scotland, seeing as they're doing so good on research. Military alliance with Gaul, because they like to build an army. Cultural alliance with the Dutch, because they're gonna pay me a huge amount for it. And I'm actually going to settle near them soon. That's pretty cool in itself. Enrico, it's the Venetian man, isn't it? Oh, Charlemagne gives a military policy slot. Honestly, that I could, I could take or leave. Where is it? Gothic architecture. Oh yeah. Plunk that in immediately. Kilwa, Colossus, all being built at turbo speed. Shouldn't I just hard build my Gerd Warriors? Why, why am I waiting this long? Yeah, I know, I know I'm know. i using my faith for them because my faith is going into more settlers and that's, I think, totally fine. Once we go out of monumentality, I'll switch over. I'll start getting worship buildings everywhere, but for now, this is it seems to be fine for me. One more city. These are really fun. I like all these cities. They're great. Military, engineering, and there is Crocius got 2,300 gold in my treasury right now. I'll just sell everything I can, see how much I can get up front to really boost this in. No, short of just waiting. Hmm, is it worth waiting? This is the thing, or do I just spend 4,800 gold or do I wait a few turns and then have even more? Oh, it's these sort of choices that keep me up at night. Also, Frederick. Oh, another economic policy slot in the government. I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to burn this merchant, double up my gold, and then use the gold to get Frederick the second. There you go. That's good. I'm um, in 180 production towards wonders, and other religions give immunities to my cities. Mm, that is quite fun. I'm going to get him as well. Why not? Oh, and this is the one I want as well. Trade routes provides us. Yeah, sovereigns are really cool. I love this mod. It is just so much fun to play with. If you've never played with a great sovereign mod before, I could not recommend mend it more. I really couldn't. Frederick. To the bigger government. We love big governments, don't we? It's wonderful. Simultaneum. Let's just get Simultaneum in. The extra faith. This never calculates it properly. This card, it's always more. So if you look, 24. I'm going from 29. I mean, it's almost 100. Yeah, I know admittedly the scripture's gone in, but this is probably giving me about 36, 48 faith. It's really, really good. Oh, every trade route gives me extra culture. Lots and lots and lots of culture. So if I am in a golden age, every non-majority religion provides plus one immunity to my cities. So I don't really have too many religions in my cities at the moment, but Moscow does. Look, there's a Catholicism or a Catholic in the city. So I think that will give me uh, more than you think. Religion two, it says. All right. I think that's the sort of bonus that's going to stack really nicely through the game and we're just never going to notice them. Right, this is the trade routes, give me science. Then Kamas is giving me culture. I'm also getting science. The next one's a wild card. Okay, yep, that was a good thief diversion and we'll just see if we can pick up more delicious settlers now. I'm up to 10 cities already. Mongolia's on 9, Aztec's on 10, Scotland's 9, Gaul is 8, Dutch is 7. We're keeping up. That is a musket. Oh, don't like that. That's... It's a bit scary. Oh, I can get my own musket though. That's not so scary anymore. City number 11. I'm sorry, is it a plus 11 lavra? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can hear you. Ursa, why didn't you go work ethic? That would be 22 production. No, 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 no. Look at the production you can get in your cities with work ethic because you work all of these beautiful mines. It's like a 15 population tundra city in St. Petersburg. It's all about feed the world Russia. Oh, just a tiny faith splurge. I'm going to pick up this artist quickly because that actually gives me humanism immediately. Simultaneum, I'm going to replace Gothic architecture. The production's good, but I really want in Invention. That's probably about eight extra engineering points per turn, which we love. We love it and we'll, we'll, we'll have it forever. This is just a generic general, uh, sorry, Admiral who gives me a, a promotion. That's not very useful, but Chaucer, more books. Should run out of, oh no, we haven't run out of spaces for books. We've got more space now. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I'm trying to use all of the great people in Tula, spreading my land over towards Mongolia. Let's see if I can get rid of this fire branch clan just by claiming the tile. That'd be quite handy. 66 science per turn. Let's see how much my trade routes give me if they were to provide one science for every six tiles they travel. Rejig that. That is another 12 science per turn, and that's going to start to stack very nicely. A little one science from that trade route, two from this one. Just wait until we get longer routes from my capital. Oh yes, it'll be wonderful. My brain has been doing some calculating and now that we've got Simultaneum in and I'm only two envoys away from Nazca, who's going to give three faith from a worship building, I am going to start using some faith now to purchase in my good worries. 
It's a lot of extra faith per turn and a lot of extra housing, a lot of extra food, musician points. There's a lot to be going for here. So we're going to see what we can do. Just keep accumulating. Oh, that horrible feeling when you get rid of the barbarian outpost and you get the Eureka for education. What was going on in there? Oh no, they had sentience and intelligence. Now I just feel bad. Speaking of amazing things, look, it's kill worth. Three envoys when built and I'm now getting 15% faith in my capital and 15% of the boost if I can take two city-states of a certain type. Now there's only one faith city-state. That is really annoying. We, we want to see more than that, but... There you go. All my good whereas are giving me a lot of stuff. And now we just have to look. We've got two culture, two production, but only one military and no mercantile. So military wise in Gaza Gamu, actually we might as well take Kabul at the same time. So we'll just grab both of those. I've got one more envoy, which I'm going to probably just keep for a second. Just wait to see if the AI steals the city state. Then I can nab it back. I'm also going to pick up a campus in my capital quickly. I do eventually have the alchemical Chemical Society, which is a very good building. I want to plunk as many of those down as I can. Tasty. Might actually use my ability here. It's very rare I do this, but I get science for every three technologies somebody is ahead of me, and Scotland's doing well. They're on 29 plus 23, so there's a plus two bonus. And they're a scientific ally, and I've also got trade routes giving me science the further they travel. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Just send one route to Sterling. Give me tons of science per turn. It's at this point where you have to kind of think, well, if I'd gone Void Sing, is I would be translating about 500 faith per turn, 20% of that into science, culture, and gold. It would be a huge amount of yield. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Void Singers is very much the optimal way of playing this, but Hermetic, Hermetic is wonderful. It is a life. You'll see it eventually. You'll all see it eventually. Just grabbing Brussels on side. 15% production towards wonders. Very tasty. Civil engineering. It's like regular engineering, but much more polite. Some people can engineer so rude, you know? So rude. I'm gonna take Diplomatic League off for a second and switch over to Vissel Bank, and I think this is the time to really start turbocharging some production and food into my capital. Especially because now we've got routes from my capital all the way to Valletta and Mexico City and Zanzibar. Oh, the culture, the science, it all, experience. Those two trade routes have taken me above 100 science per turn. Excellent. What building should I go for? Intelligence agency, grandmaster's chapel, foreign ministry? Hmm, grandmaster's chapel. Just in case I need to produce some units from my behind. It's the easiest way of doing it. But educator, now I have rhetoric. Eureka's and inspirations provide plus 5%. Oh, delightful, I say. Siege tactics and gunpowder, both within the same barbarian village. These are really educated barbarians, this game. I think I could actually take a lot of advice from following how they teach their citizens. And still the settling continues. Another casual plus nine. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's Colossus, another trade route capacity. That's the most important thing. And a trader unit, again, very cool. We like it, we like it. I like trading with city-states that are far away. And also I've got loads of districts because then Kamasi and all of the bonuses all stack together like, yeah, very nicely. Also gonna take Raj. I've been looking forward to this card. I have a lot of city-states on side and oh, colonial taxes is pretty good as well. Production and gold bonuses for all my cities on different continents. Yeah, that starts to stack really nicely. Let's do that instead of all the engineering points. I was getting some of those, but we can replace all that. That's fine. Up to 631 faith per turn though. That's a lot of faith per turn. Would you like to see some, what I would like to call shenanigans? Three, fours, one percent of my empire's culture, faith, gold, and science for each great person I have recruited. Now this does cap out at thirty percent. I've tried this card before, but I'm on four hundred culture at the moment. That's all good. But now I've got eighteen percent extra science, faith, gold. Oh, it's good. It's good. I think that actually gets blocked by the city state. So we can only go to 30%, but it's fine. It's all of the other yields. It's basically Void Singers. Route to Zanzibar. Do it. Route to Mexico. Do it. St. Petersburg. Embrace your inner trade. Become one with the world. That touch of my capital is doing really nicely. So I'm going to get it on Theatre Square festivals now. We've got all the districts we could want. Let's just turbocharge the three points. Get as many great people as we can. Don't forget, two eras, but we go industrial. And once we go industrial, oh, ladies and gentlemen, then, then we get silly because then we start getting amazing ley lines with all of the yields from all of the great people that we have produced so far. 
So this city says it's going to be minus three, but when is a sprawling empire, there's two population there and my religion's immediately in it. So I think that's not as bad as I feared. No, I don't think it is at all. That says plus six. I reckon we can do better. If I were to plonk a lava next to that ley line over her, the air plus seven. Excellent. You don't even need to be in the tundra. Just near the tundra. That's all you need. And look at all this marsh. Oh, yes. Grab all of the marsh. A marshy city. Look at all this. Etimananki. That's why I'm moving over in this direction. Yes. One faith every four tiles a trade route travels. That's like 70 extra faith for me per turn. Trade routes are the lifeblood of my empire now. Yeah. More traders. More settlers. Expansion. Push out upon the world. Do it. I haven't got alchemical societies just yet, but it doesn't stop me from getting universities. Still very good and they do upgrade. The problem is, is when you half build a university and then you unlock the alchemical society because then it just completely deletes any of the production you had towards that building. As long as you've got it, that's fine. So many luxuries in this city actually. I missed out on one of the sugars, but one, two, three, four, five, I believe that was. Who's this one? Hatusa! Nice to meet you. Fez gives me more university power and Anshan. Science? From great works of writing. Oh yes. Russia. Playing. Having fun. Irene gives me another governor. I will take her up on that offer. Trade routes to city-states now give me faith. I will take you up on that offer. I will just dip into grants briefly because I'm spending so much faith on great people. Having a 15% discount helps massively. Yeah, it's just taken like 500 off Akbar. Lovely. But another merchant, another bunch of trade routes and faith to city-state trades. It's also lovely. Sometimes you find yourself with a spare 1,732 gold and you think, what do I do with it? But then you realize you can just go have a big library, have a big university. Of course you can. Theodore, wonder construction, you say? Mmm, still some very good wonders out there. Some really nice wonders. I really need to get off the habit of taking great people, but Benjamin Franklin, diplomatic policy slot, I can't help myself. I'm addicted. And also another great writer. Oh, it is an addiction. Just great people. I need more government choices. So I've got them. That was easy. Extra stuff from triangular trade. I've, I'm just bored of trading in lines and squares. I need more angles in my life, you know? It's that awkward moment when you realize you don't need anything from your government. <laughs> it's just all excessive. Liberalism, let's get everybody to be happy. An ecstatic government is what you need in life. The yields you get from that, especially when your government is doing a huge amount of stuff, it just makes a big difference. All right, break the habit. Use your faith. Get settlers. Oh my goodness, did you see how little that cost? It was like 600 faith. I might as well just buy them from the front line. I mean, these cities are growing so fast. Sure, I'd keep a population if I get it from St. Petersburg, but what's the point? At least until I get railroads, that is. Then everything will be the point. That, that'll be fine. Also, don't mind me. Another library, another university. And now we promote and unlock alchemical societies. They're like regular universities. Very similar, except they have two production, an engineer point and a merchant point, and they give me gold equal to the adjacency bonus of the campus. Now, I don't have that campus card in at the moment, but I will eventually. Merchant points and engineer points though. These are the sort of things that make me very happy. World Congress time. I like culture bombs. I like producing units faster. I don't care about voting at all. Wilhelmina gets it production. Eh, it's all fine. What is most important is the factories have just unlocked. So I'm just going to sell all this favor briefly. Immediately purchase in said factory in my capital. Don't forget Mexico. It gives me three tiles wider on the radius of the factory. Now the factory would normally spread over this distance. Eh, it's four cities. It's not that good. No, no, no this distance. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of extra production. Just wait until I turn the lights on in that city as well. Let's unlock steam power now. Oh, railroads. Yes. Railroads. I'm keeping the city state alive, by the way. I kind of want it to be a city state. Or a barb camp. You know what I mean. There's a lot of coal, actually. Some there that can be improved. That's under a lumber mill. Oh, that's the most annoying thing. That's under a lumber mill. That's improvable. That's already improved. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yes. Get the builders in. This round's on me, ladies and gentlemen. Another city. It's so much marsh. It's so much marsh. Go ahead and improve it. Give me sugar. Give me a plus 11 lava. 
Do you ever get bored of producing so much faith? No. No, you do not. It's so good. It's basically just like every great person you could ever want, ever. Have I got to 30 yet? Oh, we'll have to check in a bit. Colosseum! This was the first rush from a Seador. This actually hits my capital, which is the most important thing. Two culture, loyalty, and amenities to every city. It hits four cities. Just helps me to creep over and make every city happy, which is quite nice. And here's a little secret project I've got working in my most tundra-rific city. Yes. Yes. I couldn't help myself. These ley lines can be improved by a grove, so I did it. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. So pointless. But I love it anyway. One more city. This one has no housing. Don't worry. Feed the world. Means you can settle wherever you want and it's all fine. Oh my lord, these medieval era great people are so cheap. I cannot help myself. Double pillaging yields? I mean, that's awesome, but let's get a great engineer that improves great works of art slots for my palace. Oh, that's good. Another envoy and some gold. Another trade route. Okay, so it's just admirals now, but these are all improving my ley lines. Just hold on. Hold firm, everyone. The ley lines are coming. Also, we now have a coal power plant. Ta-da! Just to put this sort of growth in context and why a slow start isn't necessarily a problem with Russia. Eight cities 45 for the Dutch. We've got nine and 68 for Gaul, 10 and 65 for Scotland, 12 and 83 for Aztec, 10 and 45 for Mongolia. As many cities, but no one's living there. 15 and 125. Oh, look, it's yum yum time. We love to pilgrimage. Everyone loves to pilgrimage. It's the best. The feed the world. Oh, that's even better. Ignore the explosions of volcanoes. It's fine. Where was that? Where is... Oh, that's on fire. That's not so fine. Oh, the lava is broken. Oh, no. By the way, a volcano totally destroying a work ethic holy site is one of the most annoying things because it'll break it. And then it sits there going, well, now you've got no production to fix anything. And you sort of think, oh, that is incredibly annoying. So three slots for great works of art in the palace and religious artwork placed there gets extra stuff. That is brilliant. Someone had religious art. Who was it? Dutch. You gonna do nice deals with me or are you gonna make this really expensive? Yeah, fairly expensive, but you know what? That's fine. It's a lot of extra faith in the palace, so we'll take it. Oh no, hang on. Have we done that thing? Oh, using the second charge, I think, deletes the art. Oh no. There's a bit of a bug with this mod, I think. Hopefully it'll have fixed itself since last time we played this, but there's a risk. Instead of going for curator next, we're going to go cardinal so I can really lean into my faith. So yeah, gives me just a little bit more faith. We'll plonk you down in a nice strong city like this one. And then the next governor we get will give me one faith in all cities, but also one amenity and one culture if it follows my religion. That is very handy. And patron saints being able to produce lavas and 25% bonus production. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. Another city, another set of beautiful marshes. This is one of those few times where building a lava may not be the most sensible thing to do because I have no adjacency bonuses for it. Fine, we'll open up with a harbour instead, but that's disappointing. Oh, that will give me a plus one lava. I mean, come on, that's that's good enough. We'll take it. I'm also going to take off aesthetics and I'm going to put on natural philosophy. Lose out a little bit of culture, gain a little bit of science, but I also gain gold from my alchemical societies. I really love alchemical societies. You know, some would say that it is kind of bordering on an alchemical romance. Ha 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 ha. Oh, come on, that was good. Newton gives a free university. I'm going to grab you. Lovely. Sometimes people ask me, is this a science build or is it a culture build? And you look at them and you smile and you nod and you say, yes. All right, let's test this. Please don't get rid of them. No, it didn't. It didn't get rid of them, but... Equally, it hasn't improved my palance any further, so... Okay, it is a little bit glitchy, but that's fine. Sometimes with these mods, you just have to accept that now everything happens as it should, and that's okay. We have fun regardless. Another city! Again, this one, alas, it has no tundra in it, but I can still produce a pretty decent lava as a plus four over here. As so I shall. Ah, uh, Russia. Just casual Russia things. Oh, you can't play Russia outside of the tundra. Of course you can. 
Not as good, but they're still pretty damn good. Conservation. That means we can put national parks down now. That's very exciting because you get so much land whenever you play Russia. And it's even three parks I can put down without needing to move any of my land around. That's really nice. Normally it takes ages to work out where you're going to put these blipping parks down, but that's good. How much is one of these? 510 faith. Done. Another city, this time over to the left again. Not much tundra around here. But some beautiful farms, some lovely farms, and all these marshes. Oh, the marshes are so good. Again, plus four, we'll take it. You see. Should we get another round of good words? I think we should. There's one, here's two. I'm gonna spread my religion around, get even more. I, I think we're gonna get Akbar next turn. Why not? Settle one more city here. Slide down another plus 10 lava. Of course, of course. Oh yes, St. Basil's Cathedral, built in Russia. One food, one production, one culture to all tundra tiles in this city. And let me tell you, the amount of lumber mills and mines I have in this city makes this. A, <laughs> it's an acquisition that is very tasty indeed. Oh, look at it. Look at the yields. Oh, yummy. This aquarium now hits so many cities. Yes. The Renaissance era. I said I wanted to get to 20 cities. I'm on 19 which is a little annoying, just a little annoying, but I do have a bunch of settlers out, so does it count? I'm not sure. We're winning too fast. I'm going to put down a couple of national parks as well for happiness reasons, but I am winning too fast here. What do I do? What do I do? Do we just go crazy and continue settling everywhere? It is sort of tempting. Oh, let's just keep going monumentality. Or do we? Or do we just go for great people now? No, monumentality. It means I can buy builders. If nothing else, that is the awesome bit. Um, do you want to see some era score? Watch this. We're going to go for one national park, which gives me four, which is delightful. And then another three. And then another three. And you guessed it, another three. So we just started that era with 13 era score. Delightful. Plus, we can now do railroads, which, as we all know, is the sole reason why anyone would ever play Civ 6. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Esri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Hennis, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixomatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.